Hey everyone, Sal here from the Express Care Online team. We received a lot of requests from providers uh, asking us to walk through a respiratory assessment and examination using telemedicine. In addition to that, I'd also like to go through documentation. Documentation is always a critical uh, part of what we do, but in these times uh, during this pandemic, we really want to make sure that we're accurately depicting how a patient's presenting to us. Uh, we have lots of patients who are presenting uh, to different providers, uh, sometimes within the same day. And we want to make sure that we can tell if the respiratory function is stable, improving, declining. Uh, and the best way to do that is with correct and accurate documentation. Uh, before I get into doing a, an examination with a model patient, I just want to run through a couple quick tips and tricks and uh, best practices. So just, just remember the respiratory exam begins as soon as you connect with the patient. Uh, just when you connect with the patient, you can tell a lot by how they're communicating with you. Are they able to, to talk in complete sentences? Are they constantly coughing? Are they wheezing? What's their body position like? Uh, some patients in respiratory distress may lean forward uh, in order to try and get a deeper breath. Uh, also, you can pay attention to things like nasal flaring, uh, wheezing, uh, lots of things that you can just uh, uh, accurately find just by looking and talking, communicating with the patient. Um, also, be sure to ask about cough. Um, is it a productive cough? Is it a non-productive cough? Um, is it disrupting their sleep? That's important. It, it may help us uh, make a, a better assessment and, and plan uh, when we're thinking about potentially treating the patient. All right, so we're going to get started with our physical exam. Um, just, just as I mentioned before, the, the physical exam for a HENT and a respiratory exam really goes throughout the entire visit, and you really want to be paying attention to your patient, the way that they look, the way that they're breathing, if there's any nasal flaring, if there's um, any difficulty when they're talking to you. So, so make sure you're paying attention to that. Uh, everyone does theirs a little bit differently. I usually start with an ear exam. So I'd like you to take your, uh, your ears and pull down just gently and let me know if that causes any pain or pressure. Okay. Excellent. And then could you remove your glasses, please? Thank you. And I'd like you to get a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. And could you move your eyes left and right for me? All right. And then if you could uh, take your, your fingers and lower your eyelids down, your left and your right eyelid, and maybe come a little bit closer, too. So, so during the exam, it's always important to you know, tell the patient uh, you know, to redirect them if, if you need to see something a little bit better and always demonstrate. Uh, you know, some patients don't necessarily know where their sinuses are or uh, you know, what exactly you're looking for. So always show them that gives them an example and usually it leads to better results. So speaking of the sinuses, the next thing I want to do is have you gently tap on your sinuses. If you could tap on your sinuses underneath your eyes, your maxillary sinuses. Is that tender? No. All right. And then can I have you tap up um, at the frontal sinuses above your eyebrows? Same thing. Any tenderness? No. Okay. And if you want to put your glasses back on, great time. Perfect. Perfect. So the next thing I want you to do is to take your hands, start behind your ears, and just kind of gently move on down, kind of in a massaging, like circular motion. Let me know if anything's tender or swollen. No, everything feels good. Awesome, awesome. And then the next thing I'd like you to do is to take some big deep breaths. For the, for the first one, I want you to breathe in, hold it, and then breathe out really hard and really fast. Great, great. And then can I have you take about two more big deep breaths? You don't have to hold it this time, just breathe uh, naturally. Yep, good. Awesome. So I know when I first started doing virtual visits, I was uh, really, really impressed by the, the quality of the sound that the sounds that you can hear. You can really hear a good wheeze. You can hear uh, abnormal sounds and, and congestion in the lungs pretty well. And, and it, if you're having trouble, sometimes it, it helps to ask the patient to come a little bit closer to either their phone, you know, the microphone on their phone or the microphone on their webcam. So don't be afraid to do that as well. So the last thing I'd like to do is to, to look inside your mouth. I'd like you to uh, come real close to the, the camera, open up your mouth real big and wide, stick out your tongue and say, ah. Uh, uh, Perfect. So in my experience, uh, this one sometimes is a little bit challenging. 
um, you know, be patient and like, like I keep saying, don't be afraid to have a patient go to a different room with better light, lighting or go to a different area uh, or, or you know, be, be able to redirect them with their camera because sometimes they'll be showing you their forehead or pretty much everything else besides the back of their throat. So uh, you know, when they come to see you, they really want a good exam and, and they're always help, uh, happy to uh, work with you to, to be able to see what you need to see. All right. Thank you. Okay, so just wanted to share uh, where to find the Express Care Online template that we use for upper respiratory complaints. So if you go into any progress note and type in the letters ECO uh, into the insert smart phrases and hit enter, you should find all of the Express Care Online notes. Uh, the one that we're typically using for respiratory exam is the ECO URI CCF uh, there on your left. If you click onto that, it should bring up the note, and then if you scroll down to the note, you should see the video exam. Um, just looking through the exam we did, uh, you know, she looked great, she's not ill appearing, her eyes were fine, uh, her oral pharynx was good, her sinuses were not tender, she was not respiratory distress or coughing or wheezing. Um, I just added a few things that you might possibly put in if there was nasal flaring or trouble with her communicating complete sentences, etc. So so a few things to remember that, you know, in that documentation is extremely important to know um, when we're assessing the patient and, and it's going to be very helpful for us to provide proper care.